We spent several years at the whole community, uh, the faculty and students and alums and, and lots of different uh, parts of our broader community providing feedback into what kind of curriculum should we have. And what came out of that is a curriculum that focuses on three things. One, it emphasizes holistic formation of our students. We are really intent upon thinking about formation for ministry in terms of body, mind, spirit, the whole person. The second thing, and, and kind of related to that, is we are really kind of leaning in to our residential context. So we know that's pretty unusual in theological education these days, and, and we, we, it's an expensive way to do education, but we really feel like this is the thing that we can really do well. We have been doing that for a long time, but we really felt like we need to do it more intentionally. We need to take the context that we have, our students live on campus, half our faculty lives on campus, and take that and maximize the potential for theological education and the formation of our students from that context. So that's another part of the curriculum. And the third is to take very seriously our past. The new curriculum has within it careful attention for our students and for the entire community to our uh, historical audit on slavery that we engaged in several years ago. We started in our curriculum discussions what kind of a person do we want to graduate? Who is this person? And we started there and worked backwards.